Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Alice, and I'm doing a video project on All That I've Learned by 28. Now, I'm going to talk about communication. Your ability to effectively communicate with others directly translates into your ability to make a difference in the world. So here are some tips I've learned about communicating effectively. First, when you talk to people, look them directly in the eye. Pretend nothing else is around you other than that person. When you talk to people, smile and really Look, let your passion just shine through and really talk about what you love as often as you can. Here's a quick formula for ensuring people feel heard when you're talking to them. First, restate their point and only then add your own point. So if you were deciding on whether to have steak or chicken for dinner and they wanted to have steak and you wanted to have chicken, you would simply say, well, I understand that you want to have steak and I really feel chicken would be a healthier choice tonight. Never ever start a sentence with but. Particularly in debates or in conversations at work or out at a bar, oftentimes people will start nearly every sentence with but when what they really mean is I understand your point and here is my point on top of that as well. Many times, particularly in a work conversation or in a political conversation, you can achieve much more by making the person feel like you're really hearing them by saying and instead of but. Let's talk about having difficult conversations. I find sometimes people put off difficult conversations and even when they finally do communicate that difficult point, they'll do it in the least personable way possible, maybe via text message or via an email. If you have something difficult to communicate, do it in person. Or if, if you're not in the same geo, geophysical location as them, at worst, do it on Skype. If you have something important to communicate, even if it's not difficult, do it in person as well. In terms of email, Keep your email short. One of my biggest pet peeves is uh, individuals will send an email with 10 paragraphs in it. Now, sometimes that's okay, but very rarely, particularly for a work email when people are very busy. One paragraph is the max that you should put in your emails. Oftentimes, I'll get emails from coworkers that'll have emotional content in them. Email is not the place for emotional content, particularly because you can't understand the tone that's coming through written word. Keep emotional content saved for voice and use email for just informational content only. Now let's talk about slides and how to communicate through presentations. I've tried my best to learn what I can from the magic of Steve Jobs. Often the best slides have fewer than 15 words. Ideally, they'll have a powerful picture and fewer than 10 words. Let's, take an, let's look at an example slide from the late Steve Jobs. You'll notice he has a powerful picture there of a gyroscope and then about 10 words on a slide. And often, by having fewer words on the slides and a powerful picture, the audience will look at you and hear what you're communicating through your words rather than worrying about reading the slide. Sometimes, the most effective slide has no words at all. Let's take a look at another example of a really great presentation that was done in 2006 by Al Gore. Much of his presentation on Inconvenient Truth was filmed with slides with just pictures with him talking as an overlay to those slides. That is the content I have today on communication. Thanks for watching.